Welcome to the Cycle Stop Valves demonstrator video. This video will hopefully help you grasp what a Cycle Stop Valve does and how it'll benefit your system. Let's take a look at the demonstrator and what elements we will be discussing. We have a pump, a pressure switch, pressure tank, water demand, and of course, a Cycle Stop Valve, as well as a bypass to show you what happens without the Cycle Stop Valve. First, let's take a look at how your system runs without a CSV on it. This will be the most common setup you will come across on a well pump. The pressure pressure tank is used to keep the pump from cycling often. This is done through water storage and once the pressure tank drains, the pump kicks on to refill the pressure tank. So it's common practice to limit cycles with really big pressure tanks, which can be eyesores and oftentimes expensive. Now, if you have a small pressure tank like the one we have here, you'll notice how quickly that pressure changes. You can also see the pressure fall off when you're running water. This constant off and on during water usage hurts the longevity of your pump. Now let's change things and get the CSV in line. You can see even while I'm running water, what's going to happen when we close this bypass off is the pressure is going to drop to the on point, the pump's going to kick on, and the pressure is going to build back up to 40 psi. Now, as long as I'm running water, the CSV will hold a constant 40 psi. I can even adjust my flow rate and the CSV will continue to hold a constant pressure. This allows the pump to run continuously. When I turn off my water demand, the pump builds up pressure and turns off. Now there is a minimum flow rate requirement with our valves. For the CSV125 that we are using in this video, that minimum requirement is one gallon per minute. So if I take my demand and lower that down to less than one gallon per minute, the pump's gonna behave as if the valve's not there. This minimum flow rate requirement is built into our valves to make sure you are demanding enough water to keep a constantly running pump cool. Now that you have the basics of how a cycle stop valve works, check out our other videos. If you have questions, please let us know at the email below or give us a call, we'll be happy to help.